This is for you men, because I know dating is really, really tough for you. Before you had to be strong, you had to take charge. You had to um, work, bring home the bacon. And now things are different. I mean, I'm sure you know that women work. Perhaps your mother worked, your sister worked, maybe your grandmother. But women are more highly educated now. Women make their own money. Women now, we get to choose who we want to be with. And if you're the one who's like coming, you know, in control and strong, yes, we want that, but we also want it balanced with a sensitivity. We want you to hear our opinions versus just giving us advice. And for those who have gone to the other side where they're overtly sensitive because they don't want to be accused of sexual harassment, being a predator, um, saying something inappropriate, I get that. If you have done nothing wrong in your life, you don't have anything to worry about. Now let's say you've had some transgressions where a woman's walked by and you've whistled or you've said something inappropriate. Now we're not gonna stone you to death for that. Times were different. It's how you are now and how you were maybe yesterday, maybe a year ago. Um, you might get flamed if this happened three years ago or 10 years ago. But is this a repeating, is it a repetitive pattern in your life and how you treat women? If you are open to a happy, healthy, loving, sexy relationship, there are millions of women out there who want the same thing. There's millions of women who want to um, stay at home and have you work. There's millions of women who want to work and have you stay home and there's millions of women who want to work and have you work too and you want to be a team. There's no judgment on any of those three scenarios. What I would like for you to do is get clear on the relationship you want. Don't focus on the woman and what she looks like and all the outside trappings. First, decide. Decide what kind of relationship do you want for you? Do you want to be the one that works and she stays home? Maybe she stays home because she's creating a business or maybe she stays home because she's managing um, children or the household or plenty of homes. You get to decide. Let's say you want to stay home because you want to uh, maybe be an actor or a musician and you want her to be the breadwinner. Know what it is you want. There are no right, there's no wrong, there's no one size fits all relationship. Maybe you want an equal partner. Maybe you want your career to take, um, to be paramount and hers to be secondary. Or maybe you want hers to be the most important thing because you want more free time to write or to create or to paint whatever your interests are. Know that you can have that. And what I encourage you to do is put that in your dating profile. Put exactly the type of relationship you want. Because doing that gives you so, uh, so much of a better chance of getting the type of relationship you want. And then let's say you get, let's say you want a relationship where you want to be the dominant person. You want someone to be a more submissive maybe in finances, maybe um, sexually, maybe um, when it comes to cooking or keeping um, care of the home. When you can put what the relationship looks like, you're going to get the women who are in alignment with you. Dating is not hard, but right now you're casting your net so wide and so deep that you have to sort through all of the fish. What if it could be easier? If you're interested in getting the one and doing it with less stress, less frustration, less energy, and less loss to your wallet, then reach out to me. I have a proven methodology that gets people what they want. But first, you gotta know what you want. 
And back to, let's say you are very specific in your dating profile and you know the relationship type you want. You're going to get maybe, maybe you get three women, maybe you get two, but out of those two or three, you get to decide and you know, you know that you're on the same page as far as what that relationship looks like. And if you're into looks, you pick the most attractive one. If you're into, um, Economics, you pick the one that can provide you or can uh, provide you the economics you want, or maybe she can provide the love or the nurturing, whatever your love language is, you get to choose. But wouldn't it be better to choose the one out of three or one out of the top two versus the millions and millions you have to weed through to see if you're even on the right page? I'm Elizabeth Trich, and I really want to help you just like I've been helping women, I want to teach you how to date, how to attract and date so that you can be in that happy, healthy, sexy relationship, whatever it looks like for you.